At the end of Act 2, Scene 1, Iago uh, delivers this soliloquy. So all the other characters, so we'll see here Rodrigo's been complaining about the fact that Desdemona doesn't love him and Iago talks him into it, you know, he talks him around and says things that, you know, he's saying that um, Desdemona has fallen in love with a fellow for the wrong reasons and that it's all about lust and that pretty soon she'll fall out of love with him because she'll tire of him and... Um, and and he sends uh, Rodrigo on his way. And then he says uh, in soliloquy that Cassio loves Desdemona, I do well believe it, and that she loves him. It's apt and of great credit. The more, albeit that I endure him not, is of a constant loving and noble nature. nature. And I dare that he'll think, um, he'll prove to Desdemona a most dear husband. So she's saying here um, that Othello is of a, a very honest nature and he would be a good, loyal husband. And then he says, now I do love her too. So not only does he feel that Cassio loves Desdemona, but he's saying, I love her too. And he says, it's not out of absolute lust, but through peradventure I stand accountant for his greatest sin, but partly led by to my diet, my revenge. So he's basically saying there, you know, I am a bit naughty and I, I do lust after her, but that's not the whole reason that I love her. But he says, for all that I do suspect the lusty more hath leaped into my seat. So he's using a metaphor here and saying, I think that Othello has slept with Desdemona. The thought whereof doth like a poisonous mineral gnaw my inwards. So the nice simile here, he's saying that, this, I, this thought that a fellow has cuck hold of me, he's slept with my wife, it's like a poisonous mineral and it's gnawing away at me. And nothing can or shall content my soul till I am evened with him wife for wife. So he's saying the only way I can seek revenge is by um, uh, making love to Desdemona. Or failing so, so if I can't do that, yet that I put the more in at least into a jealousy so strong that judgment can't, can't cure. So if I can't sleep with Desdemona, I'm going to make a fellow so jealous that uh, it's going to it's it's going to really bring him down. Which thing to do if this poor trash of Venice, whom I trash for his quick hunting, stand the putting on? I'll have Michael Cassio on the hip. So he's calling Desdemona here. The Poor trash of Venice. Okay, he's going to use her in his game of chess. I'll um and then I'll abuse him to the more in the rank garb. So he's saying here I'll I'll abuse I'll say bad things about Cassio to Othello, and that will bring him down. For I fear Cassio with my nightcap too. Now nightcap is obviously a cap that old-fashioned people wore to bed, and he's saying that I fear that Cassio has worn my bed cap, my night cap as well. He's the metaphor is that he slept with uh, Desdemo, uh, with um, Iago's wife Amelia as well. So I'll make the more thank me, love me, and reward me. So I'm going to turn it to my advantage. I'm going to make a fellow jealous, and he's going to thank me for bringing him down. He's going to reward me for making him egregiously an ass, an ass and practising upon his peace and quiet even to madness. Tis here, yet confused. So he's saying, I've got a plan and it's here, I'm just about there, but I'm not quite sure yet. And then he says, Knavery's plain face is never seen tin news. So he's saying there that I'm going to cause a lot of um, commotion and I'm going to cause a lot of discomfort but I won't be seen until it's actually happened.